What's going on with you, YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And we're here in the car vlog all the way to the mall vlog. In today's videos, we are going to maybe snag, potentially, probably. Oh, maybe it's been kind of slow lately. I'm not going to lie. It's been a little quiet, you know. Not a lot of, you know, recent releases. Hasn't been all that hyped up. So it hasn't gained any really excitement out there. But, you know, there's still been some solid good releases, you know. Hey, this is a great time to be in the sneakers. You know, you don't have to pay high prices. You can just walk into the store a week later and still probably pick up a pair and it should be just fine. But today's release, so that's why I'm making this video because if you guys do decide I want to pick these things up, will be the Air Jordan 5, is it called Suede Navy, Midnight Navy, Navy, I don't know. I do like fives in my collection. I do have a couple fives in my collection, mainly OG colorways and a couple hype ones too as well. But I do like fives in general. But is this kind of like a bad time for these five to come out just because like, I mean, we are gonna get the Alma Meniere's coming out. There's gonna be two Air Jordan fives, the white ones and the, the black ones, the Dawn and the Dust. And one of them is actually has a little bit of blue in it. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure, uh, again, these things are gonna sit. Lately, almost everything's been sitting and just the way how things are right now. And hey, it is okay. It is just fine. You know, not everything needs to sell out. I remember back in 2020, 2020, even the the great fives were selling out in reselling, which was like, huh? The top three fives, something like that. It, those were just kind of, I don't know about that one. But, you know, I do like fives in my collection. There are, there's definitely a couple fives in my collection that I love. I'm actually rocking some fives right now. And I got the metallic fives on. But we are going to take a look at these things. I am 100% sure. I think from here till prob... I mean, I know we're getting the holiday season. But a lot of GRs, basically, probably to the end of this year. And probably sometime close to, like, you know, the beginning of 2024. Nothing's going to sell out. Everything's going to sit. You guys will have a plethora of sneakers to choose from. And I get it, man. Sneakers are way more expensive now. Um, the retail price is really high. Um, people are not just spending money on sneakers right now. You know, sneakers is a luxury, guys. It's a luxury. I, and I know that. It's not an essential. It's not something that you absolutely need. You know, it's just something to where it's a hobby. It's a hobby. Why we love sneakers. You know, we've been liking sneakers, you know, from some people. There's been nostalgia because they grew up watching Michael Jordan. Or maybe they just love the shoes. Or they just love, you know, being fresh. Whatever the case is, man. Great time to be in the sneakers. If you guys like sneakers, you can get them for the low. So anyways, we're going to go check these things out, man. Maybe we'll cop. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to be very selective on a lot of shoes as of lately. You know, I haven't been buying a lot of personals. You know, I've been kind of, if I were buying personals, I would go like the old shoes back to where like, you know, I never had. And they were just way too expensive back then. And now they're a little bit cheaper. That's what I've been doing lately. Here they are, these are, I don't even know what they're calling these things, the Navy Air Jordan 5 joints. Now, I thought it was going to be all new buck from the pictures and some videos I saw. I didn't know they had this crack leather that Nike and all them been doing. And not only that, this material right here is like canvas material, which is really weird. I like fives and all. They're it, fam. Like, oof, I'm not feeling these material. The color's cool, though. You know, if you're... Michigan fan, cowboy fan, you know, these might be a go. Another thing I feel like, eight, like, oh, it's not going for any resale price. You don't want them, no, bro. They just when they, if they trash, they trash. You know, just just letting you guys know. Like, I mean, I would have been okay with it. I like fives. I like that. You know, the little little lace lock there. The tongue is what's killing it for me because it's like, who? If these were 3M, like how it is on these. Like, almost every five always have the 3M tongue. These would have been lit. But, I mean, I don't mind the cracked leather. It's just this material right here is kind of not doing it for me. Like, canvas and cracked leather. Like, who decided that? It's okay. I mean, got the little Jumpman here, black. Um, the Jumpman tag here in the back. Like, that canvas material on the tongue as well. And even on this material. I don't know. I mean, you guys let me know. Are you guys passing on these? Are you guys copping? I mean, I love the ice, the icy soles on the Air Jordan 5. The, you know, that water white icy blue bottoms. The big Jumpman, Jordan. Little um, rubber netting here on the side, which is actually, I think it's pretty dope because it's like smoked out. Even the tongue. The lace is cool. I mean, but, fam, I don't know. 
I think a lot of people are probably going to end up passing. I mean, I had some fives that were like, well, they came out last year, they get some of those good fives. The, um, the Georgetowns and all that, those were nice. But these, this is cool. It kind of reminds, you know, got that cement print box, the little jump man flight club here in Navy, you know, represents a little shark fin here on the midsole. I mean, again, it's not a terrible shoe, but it's definitely not for me. I do not plan on copping. There's definitely some other shoes I plan on copping this month. Uh, we got the 13s, the Wheat 13s coming out. That's the GR that I'm really looking forward to. I think a lot of people are not really liking the GRs as of lately, but those Wheat 13s is a must for me. And the Alma Meyers are coming out, so this one be going to the back burner, fam. Hey, it's all right. They're not Pokemon cards. Can't collect them all. So, hey guys, just got back home. Uh, get a little cold now. Uh, winter and fall season now. But anyways, just got this package in, and these things took a hot minute to get here. Does anyone remember the Born and Raised release anymore? Like, do they take this long to get their stuff? Like, come on. I get it and everything, but sh I'm hearing people are now getting some of their shoes shipped, which is crazy to me. I don't know. Anyway, so I was successful to get certain things on the Born and Raised website when they did drop, but I wasn't able to get the shoes. But I was able to get some tees, man. Uh, I remember I did post to this that I spent, it was on, uh, I spent like $150 worth of uh, tees, which is, you know, hey, love the show support, love the tees anyways. I knew I was gonna buy the shoe because I had to pay that resale. But anyways, uh, starting date was on September 29th. It is now November. So thank you for taking about six to eight weeks to get to me. Appreciate that. Anyways, this is the Born and Rays. Um, there's actually some of the other stuff that Born and Rays have that are actually going for some crazy amount of bread. They're actually going more than the freaking shoe right now. But we got some tees, man. We got the pink Born and Rays on the turf. This was a dope tee. I like the pink. This is when I wear the pink laces. I think this is basically the same thing. Yeah, I plan on rocking all these, man. Now that I do have the Born and Raised in my collection, this is a dope tee. This one's a nice one. Born and Raised. I love when they do the whole, um, what's it called, that uh, chrome look to it. Dope tee. Not sure if it was worth $50, but you know, hey, it's all good. And this is the actually Nike one. Even though they didn't release on the Nike site, it's okay. This is the actual Nike one. I think it's the one that a lot of people like. But the sweatpants sold out mad quick. Everything else sold out quick. But yeah, got some Born and Raised t-shirts. Hey, like the show support. Like the t-shirts as well. So I can rock these out even though it's getting kind of cold. <laughs> got a, I bought a large. I'm actually losing weight. Maybe I should have got medium. But I still like them kind of baggy. So it's all good. Anyway, guys, uh, not much to really talk about about the fives, man. Did you guys plan on copping those fives, the Navy fives? I'm not even sure what they're going to be calling them. Uh, I think they're called the Midnight Navy fives. I don't know. That's just lazy, man, uh, because almost every shoe is called the Midnight Navies. But anyways, yeah, if you guys let me know how you guys feel about those. I think they kind of dropped the ball on them. I mean, if they would have had the 3M tongue, it would definitely probably might have been a cop, but probably definitely try and pass and there's gonna be a lot more other shoes coming out this later this year that i do plan on copping and i'm like i said i'm trying to be a lot more selective on purchasing shoes and stuff so trying to save some money you know anyways uh guys i will see you guys this weekend sunday in st louis for the sneaker beast uh sneaker event their first time in st louis so if you're in the st louis area make sure you guys pull up man definitely gonna be a great time i'll be there i have a table always a good time at the sneaker beast events guys anyways hey i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at german chris on ig sometime on twitter and don't forget snapchat i'm also on tiktok anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm john chris push